In this tutorial, we're going to create a cut only scene utilizing Final Cut Pro 10. To begin, I'll select on New Event, select on Import Files, select the location where I put my files. In this case, it will be 091K1. I will hold the command key, select 091D2 and 091D1. Now I have the option of adding this to the event that I have now, or I can create a new event. I will select to create a new event. I will title that the chase. Now I have the option underneath that which says save to. I have the option to put this on different drives. You'll notice I have two drives, Macintosh HD and Media. I will select the Macintosh HD and select on import. You will see the new event appear called the chase and you will see the three corresponding clips that I selected. If I move my cursor over any of the clips you will hear the audio scrubbing or skimming and you will also see the scrubbing of the visual as well. If you do not wish to hear the audio while you're skimming or scrubbing, select on this button down above the timeline, and I'll zoom into that, and turn it off. Now when you move your cursor over any clip, you will see the visual skimming or trimming, but not hear the audio. Now this scene will consist of one person chasing the other and they will enter the train and chase each other throughout the train. So we're going to select a point to begin. To do that you will select on the clip and you can select this yellow boundary box and select to move it left and right to select the point of beginning and ending to make your selection or you can play the clip by utilizing the space bar, the center button or the letter L. So if I were to play this you will see that it plays the clip. If I press the letter J it will rewind you also have the option of using the left and right arrow keys to go frame by frame. So I'm going to make a selection here and press the letter I to make an endpoint. Or again, you can move your bounding box to that point. I will play the clip until he enters the train or he's about to enter the train, maybe at that point. I will go ahead and select the right arrow key to go a little further, perhaps there. Now I will select to make an out point. Now I can press the letter O and you will see that that has been made the selection for me. So you'll see here that has are my selection. I will now select that and move it down into the timeline and a message appears regarding the video properties. Now because this is a very compressed footage and it's of a different size that is not recognizable to Final Cut Pro 10, you will see where it says video properties and format it will say other. I will select OK. and now I will play in the timeline by selecting the timeline I will go ahead and play what I have so far and you will see that it's only the selection that we made and it will stop there at this point in time I'm going to select my following scene or clip which will be 091D1 if I scrub through here you will see that 
there are two different takes. So here's one take, and here's another take at a different angle. And again, the two actors will enter the scene at that different take. I'm going to select the second half and make my selection from here for my first actor. I'll select at this point where I barely see his hand coming into the scene or into the shot and I'll press play and I'm going to stop just when he passes the shot. I'm going to use my left arrow key to go to a point where I barely see his shoulder exiting the shot and I'll press the letter O. I will go ahead and select that portion and drag that down into the timeline. I will go back to my 091K1, scrub through the clip until I see the second actor approaching the train. I'll select that there. I'll make that my starting point by selecting the letter I. And I will play this until he barely enters the train, which is at the end of the clip. So no need for me to select an ending portion. I will now select my selection and drag that down into the timeline. If I were to play this now from the beginning, this is what we have so far. So I'm going to continue editing this piece. So I'm going to go back to 091D1. But instead of creating or uh, utilizing the second half angle or camera angle, I'm going to select the first camera angle. So I'm going to go towards the beginning for the entrance of the second actor. And use my left arrow to step back and I'll select this point I'll select the letter I and once again I will wait until he just barely exits the frame maybe there once you have your range selected you may want to increase your thumbnails so that way when you select on your selection uh, you do not change your points so in the bottom right hand corner of this window you will see here it says change the appearance of clips in the browser. Select on there and you will see clip height. If I select on that slider I can increase that and now this will be large enough where I can make my select my selection and drag it down without changing my timing. I will go ahead and end this edit by going ahead and selecting this clip here. So I will select the first the entrance of the first actor, perhaps there. and he will be followed by the, the next actor. And I'll select an out point there. And this will be my last edit. There's my last clip. So what should we should have left is a scene such as this. Now if you wish to see your entire timeline, press the shift key and the letter Z and now you can see all of your clips together in the timeline. Now if you wanted to add other elements to this, let's say for example I wanted to add an audio to this scene, I can go ahead and go to the file menu, go to import, 
file and if I had any audio I will select it press import and it will be available to me so let's say I made a selection there now you do not have this file so please do not look for this file <laughs> Just want to give you an example of how you can add audio to your clip to try to enhance a bit your scene. So if I if I were to go to the beginning of my scene. you can see how the action will come together if you wish to change your settings for your projects <clears throat> you can go down to the lower left hand side of your timeline you will see the icon to show up your project library you will see your project and then once you select on that, select on the information button or the inspector button in the lower right hand side of your canvas. You should see a properties window show up along with sharing. And you will see this key icon, or actually it's a wrench, selecting the modify project properties window. Once you select on that, you should see your availability to change the video properties to whatever it is you want to select from the items available to you. If you wish to go back to your original window, select on the window menu, revert to original layout, and you will have your original layout back. Also, I wish to mention that if you wish to trim this, so let's say you're not happy with a particular section. Let's say you wanted to have this actor go completely out of frame. You can select on this button here where it says select items with the selection tool you will see additional tools so I'll select on trim and now if I were to scrub through here and I were to select in between the clips you will see here that there are two brackets there one bracket facing to the left and another bracket facing to the right this will indicate that I'm going to be affecting the clip on the left, which is the outgoing clip. I will select on that, and you will see that now I can change the portion of the actor leaving the frame. So if I were to play this now, he should be completely out of frame, and the next shot will come in. This is Louis Sierra for Chesapeake Systems.